In this demo, we'll cover how to set and use variable values. Anytime you want a value from one page to be used on another page, you can use variables. To manage the variables in your file, go to Wireframe Manage Variables in the main menu. This opens the Manage Variables dialog, where you can add, remove, rename, and reorder variables. Let's add a couple variables to store a name and a flower. And these are the fields we'll use to collect that information. To store the values entered in the name field and flower drop list, let's add a case to the on click event of the submit button and choose the action set variable and widget values. Then click on open set value editor. In this dialog, we'll set the value of variable name var equal to the text on widget name field and set the value of variable flower var equal to the selected option of the flower drop list. Notice that you can also create variables from this dialog. And after the variables have been set, we'll link to the flower page. On the flower page, there is a text panel that will personalize and a dynamic panel that will show the selected flower. In the on page load of this page, we'll check the value of the flower var and set the panel accordingly. And then we'll set the text in the text panel using the variable values. In the first case, let's add a condition to check if the value of flower var equals ranunculus. If so, we set the panel to the ranunculus state. And we'll create a similar case for each of the flower options. Finally, we'll add a case to insert the variable values into the text panel using the set variable and widget values action. And change the else if to if, so this case is always performed. Let's generate the prototype and see what we've got. Each name and flower we select appears on the flower page in the text, and the appropriate flower is shown. This concludes the variables demo. If you have any questions, email us at supportedactra.com or tweet us at actrp.